Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Today's Thursday, October 21st, 2021st. Two thousand twenty-one, the twenty-first year of the twenty-first century. Yeah, it's a little late, but I can't go maybe more than a week without doing an episode. And these things have got to start picking up. These things have got to start picking up, and I mean in terms of frequency. It's going to come down to maybe twice a week, three times a week, four times a week. Imagine if I just dedicated an hour every day to this. I'm sure it would blow the fuck up. Why? Because I know a lot of the material that's put out on this is worthwhile. And now I get, I get, I understand that there might have been some emotions or maybe one emotion that was evoked in the previous episode with a lot of usage of the N-word, the word nigga, N-I-G-G-A, or N-I-G-G-E-R. Like, it fucking matters. It's a word. Shit, even the title was H-N-I-C, because you know what the fucking deal is. You already know what the fucking deal is. If I have to explain it to you, if if I have to explain it to you, the concept of being a professional, of improving constantly, of being better every single time we come across one another, and I mean consistency, constant improvement with every interaction then you would understand. Nigga is just a word. <laughs> Nigga is contextual. It's contextual in how you use it and how you employ it. And at the end of the day, it's worthless. It doesn't have value. It doesn't carry a lot with it. It's in the tone that you use it, the volume. It's in the company that you use it. That's where it gets its currency from that's where it gets its value from that's how you are able to leverage speech generally which is why this podcast isn't even about (coughs) ooh making the taboo normal no it's just about recognizing that what is taboo isn't even taboo It's just reality. It's reality. Folks want to shelter themselves, over-shelter themselves. Folks want to isolate themselves and and, and make their... (laughs) Make access to themselves exclusive. Fine. Fine. Tell me you won't stand out, though. Tell me you don't want to stand out, though. Tell me your ultimate goal isn't to stand out. Because if you don't want to stand out, you're fucking up, man. You are fucking up. You know how you don't stand out? You know how you don't stand out? By blending in. Just by blending in. You take the standards that you're given. You take the norms that you are given. And you work within the lines that you got. And these aren't even hard and fast lines that we're working with. These are honestly very malleable. They're modifiable. They're interchangeable even. What they require is a little legwork. They require uh, some practice, a little persuasion. A little convincing, if you will. I'm not going to say long gone are the days of, uh, you know, handiwork, of wet work. Because those days are never, 
too far behind. Lest you forget where you came from, you better respect, you better respect origins. Otherwise, those origins will envelope you. You will fall within their grasp. They'll turn you into nothing. They'll crush you up, roll you up, smoke you. As if you were nothing. Fuck time passing you by. Time will pass you by. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me repeat that. Fuck, let me reiterate that, not even repeat it. You already know how I feel about repetition. If it ain't an automatic, I don't want it. Let me reiterate that. Forget time passing you by. How about time passes by you? As if you were nothing. Like sand between your fingers. Like water between, like water in in, in a cupped hand falling through your fingers. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, what we have is just our abilities. What we have is only our ability. The tools we are handed to be better. If the tools that you have are not to benefit you, are not to improve you, then somebody, somewhere, sometime in your life fucked up. Right? And there are instances, there are instances when it's not our fault. It is how we were brought up, how we were trained, how we were instructed. You may say that we are a product of our environment. You may say it. But saying it doesn't make it the absolute truth. We have an influence. We have an influence. Humans are human. Robots are robotic. We aren't at the stage of being programmable drones just yet. Just yet. Though that time will come, I can foresee it. It might not be in my lifetime. And shit, if it is. <clears throat> Hold on, let me let me rephrase that. It may not be in my lifetime. And I'll be sad because I won't be there to take advantage of its faults. I, I mean, I, I can already foresee its faults. Do you think I can't foresee its benefits of how it could be usurped for its benefits in order to profit off of and take advantage of the vulnerable I could also see its faults and if it doesn't happen in my lifetime I mean I won't be sad I rarely get sad how about I laugh I laugh at the notion of not being available there to take advantage of the faults Just, knocking unworthy motherfuckers off who are in control or or believe have deceived themselves in believing believing that they are in a position to take control of those in a lesser strata than they are than those who are vulnerable who have less power politically to exercise in order to obtain some form of equity, some form of fairness, justice. Because it's going to be those those values, those fundamentals that are going to be corrupted with automation, with with automation with democracy, and I mean pure democracy, 
It's easy. You got yourself a propaganda arm that can promote an agenda. And democracy, what you thought democracy was, is no longer democracy. You'll have to qualify it. (laughs) Quote, unquote, qualify it. Those who are in and those who are out. Those who are in the know and those who are without. What we needed from the beginning was an informed democracy. And even then, folks never... Folks never saw it coming. Even then, folks did not see it coming. The speed, the efficiency at which information can be disseminated and distributed for the benefit of a smaller group of people, of a select group of people. You won't see it coming. You won't see it coming. This ain't your daddy's red shift, blue shift. This ain't your grandpappy's red shift, blue shift. Go look it up. Go look it up. You really want to know. Go look it up. It's physical. It's scientific. The precision with which... (coughs) Fucking... Corona. I got that Modelo virus. The Modelo. I got that Stella virus. Okay, Alex, relax. Relax. That reminds me. If you haven't visited the page on Instagram, it's Corporate Cowboys. You'll see us. The ski mask, the tie, the suit, the briefcase. Patreon. You can find us there. It's the Corporate Cowboys podcast. You know, doing a little plug. Doing a little promotion for the organization. And if you would like to donate, you can do so by all means. Shit, you can write to us. Send it direct. How about not having it taxed? That's P.O. Box 3372 Rancho Cordova California 95741 Wherever you found this episode There's a link somewhere It's on the Instagram profile as well It's in, uh, it's in the uh, organization's bio There's a PayPal There's a Cash App There's a Venmo Obviously Don't send more than the limit We're not trying to have anybody audited. But if you absolutely feel the need, feel compelled to donate more than the minimum, there is no maximum. Anything you throw at us, we're very much obliged to multiply and use as a force multiplier in our mission of maintaining maintaining equality is it the progressive form of equality? no I mean but I think it was, uh, who was it, Smith or Wesson? Or was it Colt? Yeah, I think it was Samuel Colt who said that the weapon is the ultimate equalizer. I think he was talking about his weapon. And that's why I bracketed weapon because I think he was talking about his, his firearms. I don't know what the exact quote is, but the weapon, any weapon, is the ultimate equalizer. And that's what we are. We're a weapon. The name, Corporate Cowboys. The force, the strength, the fuel, the will to proceed, the will to continue, the will to carry on. Ultimately, ultimately, that comes from you.
comes from instructing you, educating you, orienting you. It makes us, allows us to feel like we're doing right by you. At the end of the day, it's what we want to do, to do right by you. And I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Committing archaic crimes, breaking rules, breaking norms. It's not for me to say. It's not for me to judge whether or not I've been fair. What I know are the principles of business, fundamentals, the fundaments to survive and grow in terms of value, make currency accessible, make currency, (laughs) commoditize currency, and not in the form of trading currencies but commoditize it in terms of have it be renewable. It's not exclusive. It's not rare. Everyone's got a value. And I'm not talking about a dollar figure. I'm not talking about a price tag. But everybody has value that can be made to be tangential to their own existence as a person, as a human, as a worker, as an employee, as an associate, something tangible, something they can hold. And what they need, what folks need in order to succeed is us, corporate cowboys. Who, when they are past the ball, they run it. They don't look back because they don't need to look back. Should you ever find yourself in a position where you need help, You need advocacy, you need a platform, you have an idea, you think it's a million dollar idea, a billion dollar idea, you don't know how to connect the fucking dots to make it a trillion dollar idea in need of a consultation, let's say, a professional consultation. You can reach out to us. Because as associates, incorporating associates, living up to that namesake is a mission that cannot ever be completely accomplished. Complete connectivity is an impossibility. I mean, we're talking, we're speaking in absolutes here. It's an impossibility. But the nearer and the closer we get to it, the funner it gets. The funner it gets. Achieving 100%. Achieving 100% setting those... Setting that challenge ahead of you. Putting it in your sights. Within grasp. Within... Within... Your horizon... As, as a destination to arrive at? What more can you live for? We ask for nothing. Literally. Even your money. What's it worth to you? A piece of paper with some intricate ink on it.
You want to bet your money? Instead of losing it to the house, how about investing it? Investing it in an empire. Something tangible. Something you can watch grow. Something you could witness. And just like that, before you know it, you will have lived and experienced the change you can make. You'll have lived and experienced. You'll have the evidence firsthand, whether or not it's recorded. You won't have to tell anybody about it. When you speak, they will know it. That's some corporate cowboy shit.